Scorpio. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 4th to the 10th of July 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. It's getting dark. It's about to pour with rain I think and I've got a tin roof so I'm hoping I'll get this done first. The neighbour's been welding so I'm, I think that's coming through the video so hopefully they have stopped. Oh, it's, all, it's all happening. Scorpio, let's see what we've got for the week. Overall, well, you have success. Love that. Gotta love that. Ten of Pentacles, happy family life, I say. It doesn't have to be mum, dad, two kids and the dog, or two dogs and the kid. Or if I had my way, I'd say happy family life doesn't have to be 12 dogs, <laughs> which I could quite gladly have. Um, yeah, but there is success here overall for the week. Happiness, it's there for the taking. You've got that, you've claimed that. Boom, it's yours. Past energies, you had the Six of Swords, Four of Swords, Seven of Wands. Wow, there's something further back from the past that has caused you to do a lot of self-healing here and having to look after number one. But there's persistence, there's not giving up, there's not quitting. And quite often I do say it's not quitting on yourself. It may not be quitting on someone else or something that's going on, but a lot of time I do say it's not giving up on yourself here. You are moving forward. You're not wanting everyone to know your plans at this stage, even though this has been in the past, but you have had a tough time that you've had to go through to get to even um, this stage there. And then your present energies, transition, Prince of Wand, Princess of Wands, sorry, and the Seven of Cups. Very compassionate, very giving energy with that Princess of Wands. Um, your own energy could be dealing with another Scorpio with transition, leaving that past in the past and focusing on what lies ahead, focusing on all these opportunities and these options that are in front of you. Sometimes they're not so obviously in front of you and I always say people do take repeat patterns, sometimes once, sometimes twice, sometimes ten times, but also first one that looks good. So it is focusing on what these each of these options do have to offer and sometimes having to dig deep to see what even the options are. Future energies, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Six of Cups. It's been a battle to walk away from the past, whatever it is that has happened back there. Um, banging your head against a brick wall, but it has been one hell of a battle to leave that past behind. But be proud of how far you have come. You've put the hard work in, that success is there, Claim that success, be proud of those achievements. Wow, Scorpio. So do clarify everything. So we'll start with the Ten of Pentacles overall for the week. All right, so you get Seven of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Swords. You have that Five of Swords and Seven of Cups in your underlying reading, but um, yeah, using your head over your heart, thinking things through very clearly and logically when it does come to exploring these options that are in front of you. Walking away from a battle that just no longer serves you has been giving you a headache, banging your head against a brick wall. That is still a victory in itself, but you're ready to take some very swift action and to leave that battle behind and to explore other avenues. Wow. Wow. To claim your success, Scorpio. Past energies. Oops, about dropping them all here. Six of Swords. You get the full Six of Wands, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with Taurus here, but there is victory in being able to move forward, even if it has, has been done in secret in the past without everyone knowing about it. That may be your own sweet victory in itself with that Six of Wands. Feel like you've taken this leap of faith and started to move forward from a situation further back in the past where there's been a lot of pressure being put on you to do things a certain way, but that certain way being somebody else's way, not your own. Four of Swords. 
you get the Empress, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups. And knowing again what you can walk away from, okay, you're very aware, you're following your gut instinct here and knowing that something is holding you back and it's okay to leave that behind. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally, you've taken this time out for yourself and now you know um, you're very aware here of what, as I said, can be left behind and what you take with you. Persistence, I love this, Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles. There is something or someone that you're not able to release here or you've put the hard work in and you're hanging on for dear life because you've earned this. But I feel like there is still something that's holding you down here. It may be a grudge of some sort when you're wanting an apology for something that has happened further back and that's not coming through and it may never come through. Always say it's about refocusing where you're heading, what you want and knowing that you've got to continue moving forward towards that goal there and not um, and not looking back so to speak. Comes with persistence and not giving up and not quitting but it's also a lot easier said than done. So present energies, transition. You get the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man. Yeah, and I feel like you are making this decision to walk away from this deceptive energy. It is saying, watch your back. Maybe some gossip and backstabbing involved here. But you do have this whole brand new beginning. Nine of Cups flipped over somewhere along the line there. Um, love and happiness, um, that is there for the taking. You may be waiting for someone to make their mind up here around something or someone. And it is also saying to have this whole brand new beginning, this brand new chapter, you're quite able to make that decision yourself what that new chapter does involve. Love that. Princess of Wands, Scorpio. You get the Emperor, Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Could be dealing with an Aries here, emotional happiness, um, emotional support. There's a lot of joy, there's contentment here and quite happy with where things are. You're in control of the situation, divine masculine energy. As I said, could be dealing with Aries. Um, logical, brave, confident, everything here and ready to move forward to bigger and better things. Good luck, good fortune, hopefully for all of you, but let that wheel of fortune give you that momentum and keep propelling you forward, but in naturally not forcing the issue with that, trying to not, not trying to get there faster than it and um, not anticipated faster than that it's meant to be with that wheel of fortune. Seven of Cups, Scorpio. You get the Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Some conflict, some drama here. Somebody's not happy that you are moving forward to bigger and better things. You have overcome a lot of hurdles and obstacles here. There are options now in front of you and you're quite happy to take on a partnership of some sort to build a solid foundation. Whether this is around love, around work or around home, you do have this clear path ahead of you and that clarity to be able to explore all the options that are there. But um, there may be a bit of jealousy involved with that Five of Wands. Disagreements, somebody is not prepared um, for you to be moving on so magnificently, I'm going to say. Scorpio, um, future energies, Queen of Pentacles. You get the Queen of Swords, the world, double dose, Queen of Pentacles, and those queens are balancing the world. Well, Scorpio, boom, <laughs> love that. Okay, very direct approach towards something or someone. Again, being very proud of how far you have come and the hard work you've put in to get the success here. If it's meant to be, it will be, and I feel like this is meant to be with a double dose of this Queen of Pentacles. That success is yours, and um, and you should claim it there. Okay, but um, still a pretty direct approach being taken towards getting something started here. Divine timing, things do happen for a reason, and I always say we don't know what the reason is at the time, most of the time and um, that world does have your back. Something is coming full circle and paying off big time for you. Brilliant. There's three there, so five of swords. 
Yet yeah, judgment, ten of pentacles, knight of cups. Well, I'm going to say it. Keep an open mind around this offer of love. Um, somebody may be offering this love to you. You may be offering it to them. It may be an existing relationship. It may also be somebody extremely brand new. But with that judgment there, it is saying to keep an open mind. Don't judge others. I always say don't let others judge you either. But um, keep an open mind with what this offer does actually um, bring to you. Could be all the success you want especially when you've got ten of pentacles overall as well and you finish with the six of cups with the high priestess knight of pentacles seven of pentacles it's been a long slow journey to release the past here you have it's left you with your guard up here but you're quite content just watching what's going on around you and again there's that seven of wands persistence not giving up not quitting no matter how long this journey has taken to release this past it's because you haven't given up along this journey and um even though you may be a bit guarded, it doesn't mean that you have given up on something or someone there. So Scorpio, let's see what the universe has to say. You get the Queen of Cups, the Hermit, Three of Cups, a lot of Queens here. Um, being proud of how far you've come emotionally. You've done a lot of soul searching, could be dealing with a Virgo some time out some contemplation where to now there is light at the end of the tunnel and at that at that end of the tunnel there is something to celebrate um what that is i don't know possibly who that is i don't know but there is something to celebrate at the end of this tunnel by not giving up and not quitting wow so i've gone back to open to spirit oracle which i read so to finish well that came out pretty quick scorpio Express yourself, you have much to share. Love that, because in the core of your reading, Princess of Wands, willing to share and give your ideas here, give, um, talk about that. So, love that. I'll just quickly read that. Do not hesitate any longer. Your voice is needed. Although you shrink from the limelight, your input is valuable. Your words hold insight and are spiritually guided. Trust your voice, trust your pen, connect with your courage and share your thoughts. Speak, write, let your voice be heard. You have a worthy contribution to offer. Wow. Speak now or forever hold your truth. Is that what they say? <laughs> I think that's what they say. Okay, so Scorpio, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.